Springtime means stuffed artichokes in my family. Let me show you the way we make it. The artichokes that I'm using today are called globe artichokes, but this recipe can be used with any type of artichoke. So I start by removing some of the tougher leaves from the bottom. I go about three or four layers in, then I cut the stem off and immediately rub it with lemon so it doesn't oxidize. Then you wanna chop off most of those pointy tips at the top and spread it open. I'm reserving the stem for the stuffing. Rub that with lemon and now I'm going to, with a spoon, slowly and painstakingly take out the choke, or most of it anyway. Now I'm gonna remove most of the hard outer skin of the stem, put it all in a bowl of cold water with lemons. This will stop it from oxidizing or turning black. Now I have a nice piece of sopressada. I'm gonna dice that really small. This is a new addition to my stuffing. My mom never put this in there, but it's delicious. I have a cup of plain breadcrumbs, a quarter cup of grated pecorino, the sopressada. I'm gonna grate in one garlic clove, and now I'm gonna chop up some fresh parsley. You can use dried parsley, but it doesn't have the same flavor punch. Now I'm gonna take that stem that I reserved and slice it really thin and give it a really tiny dice and add it to the stuffing. Add in one beaten egg and lots of olive oil. You want the stuffing to look like wet sand. Now in my family, we make this with potatoes and it is delicious. I mash up those potatoes, mix it with the stuffing. Oh my goodness, heaven. Now it's time to stuff those artichokes. You wanna open up the leaves and get as much of that delicious stuffing in there. Sprinkle a little salt and olive oil. Artichokes love olive oil. You don't wanna pack the stuffing in too dense, but you do wanna get as much of it as possible in there. If you have to do it with your hands, go right ahead. Now into a large pot, I'm gonna stand them all up and in the gaps, I'm gonna add that potato that I diced. Also, if you have leftover stems, because I only use two of those stems, you can add those in as well. Add your water in to almost the top of the artichoke, season the potatoes with salt, more olive oil on top of the artichokes, and now simmer for 45 minutes to an hour You'll know they're ready when the leaf comes right out. Take the juices from the pot and just pour that right over the artichoke. My goodness, this is one of my favorite things. And a lot of people ask me, how do you eat artichokes? Well, I'm gonna show you. Take one of the leaves, drag it along your front teeth, and that's how you eat it. The inner leaves are more tender. You can actually just eat the whole thing. Eating artichokes is an experience. Like and follow for more. I'll be placing the full recipe for this on my website, FrannyLovesFood.com.